Here is one of our favorite hacks, and especially as a template designer, it is the hover to preview. Um, we love using it on all of our templates. So that way, if you're hovering over it, you can kind of get the whole homepage view all while staying in the comfort of your own window. <laughs> so um, this is kind of accomplished by using and embed code and a little bit of script. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So we, you know, have a pre-designed kind of template intro and, you know, we want to put in a um, hover to scroll and it's kind of like, you know, how do I do that? How do I code that? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add an embed code box. And this is something that doesn't necessarily work well on mobile because, you know, with finger hepatics and all of that, um, it just doesn't play well. So what I do is I will hide that on the mobile and I'm going to want this to kind of like take on the size of my already done kind of template design I have going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and match the sizing with this one. We want to open up the embed box and paste in our pre, our provided code. Um, so this is um, kind of using a little bit of CSS. It's using some div and styling, um, and it's pretty basic once you get the hang of it. But I'm just going to go ahead and paste in kind of the the provided code. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see that we have some clipping right here and um, kind of it just, it's not going to function correctly once you're previewing it. It's like hanging off and it's not where we want it. So what you're going to want to do is this is going to be customized kind of like for whatever um, kind of you're designing it for. So you are going to want to tweak the code just a little bit. So to start off, I already want it to kind of sit in the right, you know, I want it to sit where it's supposed to. So I have um, the embed box at 482 by 642. So what I want to do with the size selected so I can kind of see it um, is open up the embed box and you're going to want to look into um, the box right here. and right here we have a width set. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take on the width of your actual element. So I know this is going to be um, 482 and then by 642. So as soon as we do that, you're gonna notice that that's gone away. Once we preview it, it's going to kind of be where we want it to. Everything looks good, okay. So the next thing is, is we're going to want to kind of set within the code what exact image you'd like. So go to your media library, go to um, wherever you have this static desktop image, and this is the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my media library, find that image, and then copy this link. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your desktop view, double click within the embed box, and down at the bottom is the div class that we are pulling from this area. And now we want to set the style background of the element. So we we're pulling an URL. So what you're going to want to do is within the source URL is you're going to want to highlight that demo and then just paste in your code or your link. And now it's updated. Once we preview it, it is going to now show exactly what we want. Um, if you do not like the speed, you can change the speed um, just by going, opening it back up. And here you're going to see kind of the transition speed and you're gonna to wanna to change these on all of them. If you have a really short page, then you're probably gonna want it a little bit faster or slower, I don't know, it's worth a play. But um, so if this one was too slow, let's go ahead and make it a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and go 12, 12 and 12. And there you have it. It's going to start speeding up. It's gonna stop at the bottom.
And then once you unhover, it's going to scroll back to the top without glitching. So I hope that helps. And this is kind of like our little tip and trick that we love using for our own shop.